Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. A question we get a lot, it focuses on light rack. That's kind of the thing right now. And what slides are lighter to rack than others? Not everybody has gorilla strength hands and can easily rack any slide out there. So sometimes people are looking for a lighter rack slide on a competent caliber like a 9mm or 380. So what I'm going to do is I've got an assortment of these, some that I know are heavier than others, and I'm just going to kind of give a representative sample. I have very strong hands, so to kind of make it a little easier to have a problem with it, I'm going to grab them with just two fingers. I know you won't normally rack that way, but that'll help me simulate a heavy one, such as this XDM, which is quite heavy. These are good guns, they work well, but the slide is quite heavy, you can see. Compared, let's say, to something like this Glock 19, which is a little bit lighter, but quite similar. And one other I'll pick up is this Beretta APX. And that's heavy. This is probably similar between the XDM, the Glock. They're kind of all in a little cluster. So I'm going to set these aside because if we're looking for a lightweight slide, uh, it's definitely not one of these. So now we may look at a popular gun that's going on right now, which is the Equalizer, Smith & Wesson Equalizer. Notice how light that slide is just by comparison, doing the whole two-finger thing. It's also got these little flares that kind of help it easier to get a hold of it. So something like this might fit into that category of light rack if you're looking for a lighter slide. So I'm going to set that guy aside. Pick up something like this Taurus. You can see not only is this one heavy, but it's kind of inconsistent. So the pull changes as they go towards the back and it gets heavier. This is the GX4. Good gun, works well. If you're looking for a light slide, that's not it. One that's kind of a unique one is the DA or, or, or SA guns, like a 1911 or any of these classic DA SAs. These are unique in that the slide pull it is quite heavy when I pull it the first time and then much lighter subsequent times. So what this allows you to do on a DASA is have that heavier slide rack and not worry about it because you can always thumb the hammer back and then get that light rack. But when the hammer is down, it's actually quite heavy, at least until it cocks the hammer. So when you look at things like 1911s or 1911 style designs, like this little P938, you can, first time it's actually still kind of light for a DASA, but subsequent ones is just real easy. So if you're looking for, you're not looking for a polymer wonder, you're looking for a classic DASA type guns, things like this that anything that has a hammer you can thumb back is a good potential. So I'm going to set, I'll take this one, this was the lighter of the two between the P30 and this one. I'm going to set that guy aside and bring in some of the, a little bit closer so we can look at some of the rest of the crop. So this guy here is an M&P M2.0. These are really good guns, they're really popular, but this is not the EZ line, this is just the classic M&P. Kind of a heavyish slide, it's lighter than the block, it has good serrations, and they really get into your hands, but you'll notice I'm having to put a little work into it to, to cycle this one, but it's at least smooth and consistent. If you're looking for light rack, this isn't it, but this is kind of the lighter of the not light rack guns. I'm gonna set that guy aside. I'm going to pull up Shield EZ. Now these are a light rack. I can almost do it with, with just my little finger. Let's see how light that is. This is a gun, now this happens to be a 380. This is a gun that probably if you can hold a gun well enough to shoot it, you can rack this thing. I'll set that in with the one, the keepers for light rack. Now I've got a Shield Plus. Actually kind of on the heavy side. So there's a big difference between the Shield EZ and the Shield Plus, even though they both have the Shield name, because this is actually almost heavier than the Glock. The only thing that kind of makes it easier is it does have some pretty decent serrations. If you're looking for light rack, this isn't the gun you're looking for. We go to some of the remainders. I've got a P365, and I actually slipped off it the first time. It's got serrations, but they're not the the deepest ones. This is the 380 version. There's also a 9mm version. 380 just recently came out. But you can see there's kind of a hang up at the beginning. This isn't a defect. It's just the way it works. But that hang up at the beginning actually can make it difficult for somebody to rack. But once you get past that, it's okay till you get near the back and then it's real inconsistent. So even though the P365s are good guns, they work well and they're reliable, 
they're not the best choice for somebody that wants a light slide. So you might look and say, well, all of the other light racks that we're talking about are big and I need something small. Well, there's a few possibilities. You've got the LCP Max, so that's a 380. And that's actually reasonable. At the very back, it kind of stacks up a little bit. It's not really kind of defined, but I'm doing it fairly easy with the, the two fingers. But when I try to do it with just the pinky, I can't get it all the way back. If I bring a second finger in, I can do it. So this is almost a light rack. And if you're looking for small, if you need something that'll fit on the palm of your hand, this may be as close as you're going to get in a competent caliber. Now you can come ahead and look at this LCP2, which this has a very stiff at the back. It's, in fact, I'm actually having a little hard time once I get past the back of it, keeping it in my hand as I go over that last little bit of it. So it stacks badly at the end. So the LCP2, despite being light and having a nice trigger, is not a good choice. You would want to go for the uh, LCP Max if you're looking for something small and light to rack. And then, of course, you have the Max 9. That's quite heavy. That is a fairly heavy slide. And a little bit of work to do, which really does not make it a light rack. It's kind of close to the Glock. In fact, I'll bring that Glock back. This one at least doesn't stack at the end. It's consistent across it, but it's still quite heavy. This is almost as heavy as the Glock, possibly even just a hair heavier. So, most recently, Ruger has come out with the Security 9. I'm, scar I'm sorry, the Security 380. They've had a Security 9. This is super light. I'm, I'm doing this with just my two fingers and I'm going full cycle. There's no stacking at the end. So if you're looking for a compact subcompact size, you know, you're looking at the equalizer in 9mm, the security 9 in, or I'm sorry, sorry, the security 380. And I would say of these, the easiest, so I'll do them again. So the EZ is is easy, but I would say that the uh, security 9 is easiest. And then even easier than this little guy with the hammer thumb back. This is another good choice, again, if you're small. So if you're looking at that field of light to rack guns, you're looking at the EZ, the Equalizer, and the Security 380. You're looking probably at these three are the lightest rack out there of competent calibers. Now, there have been some questions of the EZ versus the Equalizer. Which one is easier? So let's find out. So the Equalizer is basically a high capacity version of the EZ-9. So I'm doing it with kind of two, a little finger and a little bit of help from the other one. If I take the other finger off, I can do it, but it's a little tough. If I do the EZ, this is the uh, 380. I can definitely do it with just those two fingers. And I do happen to have the 9mm EZ here, which is the lower capacity. And it's, it's about the same as the Equalizer. I would say that these are probably equal. They are basically the same gun, basically the same fire control group operating thing. The only thing is difference is the thickness of the grip and the magazines and the capacity. So the 380 of the ones that I've got here on the table in the M&P line, so I'll set the uh, Ruger aside. In the M&P line, I would rank it as the 380 EZ. Oops, I picked up the Equalizer. 380 EZ is truly the easiest. If nine millimeters your bag, you could choose either the Equalizer or the original 9 Shield EZ, which of course I choose the Equalizer. It's same basic slide and a lot more capacity. Uh, or you can look at the Security 380, which actually is quite, quite easy to rack. The cool thing about this is for people that have limited hand strength and the ability to rack heavy duty slides, this has opened up a bunch of opportunities for you to actually have a gun in a competent caliber. I would probably declare the winner of this would be the Security 380 is truly the lightest. And then the next thing I would go, if, you, if, if 380 is not your thing and you want to go to 9mm, I would probably pick up, if I can find the right one here on the table, the Equalizer. Those would be the two I'd choose from. 380 and 9mm. Now I'm only factoring in operating the slide. There's a lot of other considerations that may drive you to say, I don't want one of these or the other because of, and that would kind of say, okay, well then here's some of the others you can look at. But hopefully that helps a little bit understand, you know, slide racking, what's easy, what's not, 
and hopefully doing it with my two fingers was a better demonstration than grabbing it like you classically would because I can grab a desert eagle in, one, in, in my hand classically and rack it just as easily as any of these so it wouldn't be a good comparison. Beyond that, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, click that bell to be notified if you do. Check us out on Facebook, Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, Rumble, Getter, pretty much everywhere. And thank you.